Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I would like to share with you my experience of desoldering and show you the way of my personal evolution which I went through in the past. If it's about recapping of an old graphics card like this or gathering re replacement parts from the older boards like this one, the cheapest way is to use a manual pump like this one. I used it a lot in the past and I'm still doing from time to time what you can see in my previous videos. The principle is quite simple. You just push the button and then if you push the other button to release the pump it will soak the uh, hot solder. So the problem of the manual pump is that it's just a pump, it's not getting hot or something, so you will need an additional uh, soldering iron to heat up the parts, obviously. And um, this means that uh, you have uh, usually the hot iron in one hand and the pump in the other hand and uh, during the heat up of the solder you have to use a pump with the other hand to to uh, desolder it. It's obviously uh, very unhandy and uh, if you need a second hand it's just a no-go. So um, the other cheap solution is to use a soldering wick and uh, this one is uh, usually made of um, copper and it's uh, very simple to use. You just uh, put it on top of the contacts and then you take the soldering iron and heat up the wick and uh, if you're lucky it soaks all the solder from the board. But uh, the problem with this one is that it's uh, only working on the surface so you can't use it really with uh, deeper holes or something. So the uh, third option is uh, also quite cheap and it's a, an integrated uh, solution. So it's a manual pump like the one before, uh, directly integrated into a soldering iron. And uh, there is a nozzle with a hole in it. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, just heated up and then the rest is like the same. You press the button, you press the release button and you soak the, the solder out of the context and uh, the positive thing about this is that you can do it with one hand obviously and uh, so if you have to hold the board with the other hand or something it's uh, much much easier um, so but the problem with this solution is um, or there are actually two problems the first one is uh, if there is a bigger contact with more solder in it, you have to use the pump multiple times. So you just press, release, press, release until you soak everything out. And the second problem is that the nozzle is um, usually too big and such um, desoldering pumps you can buy only with one nozzle. So if you have to desolder with smaller caps, you will have a lot of problems with it because uh, it's just too big. So you have to, you can wiggle and... and uh, make a circle movements to, to heat up it properly but uh, usually it doesn't work that well so um, you have to find another nozzles which is not quite easy I think I never saw this and or you have to search for another solution and uh, today I got this box, it's a new toy for me and uh, I hope this um, could be a solution for my problems and the next step of uh, my desoldering evolution. And inside of the box there is a brand new desoldering station ZD915 and uh, let's see what it can. It comes with a standard power cable that uh, you use for any PC. And, um, you have a nozzle for the pump, which is integrated into the main housing. There, there is a filter inside, and this nozzle is used to um, put the rubber tube, which goes to the, to the soldering gun. Let's see the uh, manual, it's quite thin. Not very much to say about it. First part is in English, the second part is in German. 
Uh, well, it's, it's not a rocket sign, so I think you don't really need this. At least you can see the picture on top, so you know how it looks like. <laughs> well, let's move on. Here we have a stand where you can put the desoldering gun into you. There is a, a sponge inside which you can, um, where you can put some water into you to clean up the nozzle. And the stand goes to the side of the case. So it's a quite uh, well looking integrated solution. Let's see how it works. And now to the most interesting part, I think the desoldering gun itself. Well, feels a little bit cheap, but it's it's good in the hand. And there we have uh, two cables, or well, uh, actually one tube for the pump and the electrical cable. They both go into the main soldering station, actually. And what else do we have here? Okay, some replacement parts. Okay, first uh, here these are kind of needles to uh, uh, clean up the nozzle. As you can see, they have a like a riffle ending, so you can just push it through. Oh, currently I see that the nozzle is uh, soldered, so it it came like that from the manufacturer probably to indicate that it's new what else do we have we have um, some filters different sizes the one is bigger and then three smaller filters I suppose that one bigger filter is going into the uh, desoldering station yeah yeah looks like yeah that fits so this one is uh, um, just to uh, keep the dirt out of the pump. Don't know how often I will have to replace this, but we will see. Okay, and the other ones, the smaller ones, are going into the uh, desoldering gun, I think. Um, we will look at it later, but now let's try the um, the station itself. Uh, the casing is made out of metal, I think. It doesn't look too shabby. So um, I really don't like how this holder for the gun looks like, or actually feels like. It's, it's quite cheap and it doesn't hold the gun properly in place it looks really unstable but I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or something well I think this is really not good and it's just like oh you see it but just by moving it's falling apart well anyway let's turn it on and see what happens oh it's loud it's quite loud. Okay, so on the screen on top we have a current temperature and on the second row we have a desired temperature and uh, you can use up and down buttons to set up the desired temperature and you can switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius for the screen and now uh, if I press the button, yeah pumps quite loud and you can see the nozzle is now free so the solder w was sucked into the desoldering gun you can see here if you compare the nozzles the one I didn't use yet is still soldered and the other one is open so now the desoldering gun is officially used 
well. Now, let's see, let's give it a try. First of all, I would like to desolder this capacitor, which is a common case when you have to recap something. I will put some flux and add a fresh solder to the contacts. The desoldering station is set up to 350 degrees. I think that should be enough. So let's try. Do that. Okay, the first try was actually not that good. Doesn't look doesn't look good, so Okay, let's try another part. There's uh these uh, quartz. Unfortunately, uh, I didn't film how I soldered out the capacitor because uh, my camera stopped filming, so that's why I had to to jump to uh, to the next part actually. But um, in the end, I could manage to desolder the capacitor. So um, let's try this uh, quartz oscillator and see if it's uh, working better in the second try. I found that I have to wait a little bit more to heat up the contacts uh, or to the pins of the board. And then it works a lot better. And uh, like wiggling or doing such a circular movement of the desoldering gun helps a lot. So as you can see here, it looks much better. Um, Three contacts are completely free. One is still well to be improved, and I will add more solder on it and try it once again. So wiggling, wiggling, and yeah. So now all the contacts are free, and the yeah, the part is almost falling out of the board. It was pretty much simple and fast. As you can see, the holes are really, really good. Like you can see my finger through the holes. They're very clean. I like it very much. So let's try something more complicated. This IC with um, 14 legs. And like, as always, Add some flux, add some fresh desolder, um, solder, and then try to solder the the contacts and wiggling a little bit of filling if the legs are free, and voila, it comes out of the board. Very simple and very fast. I like it. I think I have to. Uh, um, to try some more parts to get a little bit more experienced with the tool, but I think after a while it works out quite well. Of the video I tried um, to do more parts and it was really simple, I made lots of uh, parts in half an hour. So it went better and better, but now let's try uh, to talk about how to clean this gun. You can use this uh, needle to uh, clean the uh, nozzle. It must be hot actually uh, to be able to get the uh, rest of the solder out of it. And if you s look into the uh, uh, glass tube on top of the desoldering gun you can see a lot of uh, metal dust inside of it. So let's try to get it out. You can push this button down and then uh, pull the glass tube out of the gun on top. It, you have to struggle a little bit, but um, it works pretty well. So, um, yeah, you can see there is a, after just um, half uh, an hour working, there is a lot of old 
solder inside and the tube is also quite dirty well I will clean it up with a paper towel the same goes for the spring and the other parts and uh, yeah good and uh, now look at this uh, it's like a like a barrier uh, in the back of the which goes in the back to the of the tube and it's made of aluminium and uh, when the solder goes into the tube from the front when it's sucked uh, into it um, drops against this uh, aluminium plate and since it is aluminium does it it doesn't um, stick on it so um, the metal is was chosen by intention I think and uh, this is uh, one of the filters uh, which are also supplied um, in the replacement parts and uh, you can already see how dirty it is I think I will have to buy more of them so um, then just put everything together like this and then push the tube back into the gun and push back the, the rear part until it clicks and that's all it's done and you can use it again I, I'm, I am quite happy with this uh, it worked well I could do in a short period of time a lot of desoldering so it just I was just practicing and I will do more in the future and um, I hope that it will save me a lot of time and I hope you enjoyed this review and um, thank you very much and see you again